I'm Cheryl Copper with Elizabeth River Project. I'm the River Star Homes Manager and with me is Michael Burr, who's an oyster gardener and volunteer extraordinaire. And we're here today to demonstrate how to take care of oysters if you're an oyster gardener. And this is important because an adult oyster can filter 50 gallons of water a day. And what we have here is a thousand baby oysters that we're going to take care of for a year. And our goal is to keep their home clean and we're going to show you how to do that. And if you're interested, you can join up later. We're using a torpedo float. Ideally, oyster gardeners check it once a week and maintenance involves three steps or three C's. Clear growth on the bags, crab eviction, check the bag and seal, and lines. Oyster gardeners will need a few supplies, a tarp or a big bag to lay your oysters on if you empty it, gloves because the bag and the oysters can be sharp, bucket, scissors, knife, zip ties, brush, a scraper, and extra rope. Because oysters are filter feeders, they draw food or algae from the water, so it's important that the bag that houses them be clean. You want to clear any growth on the bag, anything that cuts the flow of water using the tools mentioned. The two main culprits are going to be sea squirts and algae. Other things you may see don't harm the oysters, small shrimp, worms, barnacles, that sort of thing. For crab eviction, you can sometimes see through the bag if it's clean. If you can't see through the bag, you want to open it up, pour everything on a tarp, and be careful nothing goes overboard but the crabs. And you can just flick them back in the water. The next step is to seal the bag very tightly, making sure there's no holes, and you want to make sure you secure it with at least two lines. Three lines is good too, to make sure if there's a storm that the lines are cut and the bag floats away. Oyster gardening is fun, it's educational, and it gets results. Oyster gardeners report better water clarity around their docks. Our oysters are a few months old. We'll take them out next summer working with Chesapeake Bay Foundation, which will put these on a sanctuary reef next year in the Lafayette River. If you're interested in joining River Star Homes in our oyster program, give us a call at 399-7487.